Hello, and thank you for choosing the Legacy Lawyers as your source of information. We know this might be a difficult time you're going through, but we are here to educate you and help you through the process. Please stay tuned for our question and answer portion. Good morning, Erin. Good morning, David. Enjoying the nice weather out? Absolutely. <laughs> it is really sunny for March, and I am delighted. Uh, I'm not quite beach ready yet, but uh, I'm getting there. <laughs> well, that's good to hear. <laughs> Okay, so this week we're talking about bonds, yes. and today's our fifth episode of our mm -hmm. five-part series this week. If there is a trust, does a person have to bond for trust assets? That's a good question. That's something that we deal with a lot. So you have to figure out what is the purpose of the conservatorship if someone has a trust already. So let's just say someone has a trust, uh, the real property and a lot of personal property is in the trust and uh, we have a trustee appointed because the, the would-be conservatee is disabled. Uh, generally speaking, trusts are intended to be non-court supervised. They tend to be private and without bonds where someone in their estate plan say, well, if I'm uh, disabled, I, I know who I want already and I don't want to involve the courts and I'm just going to appoint that person to manage these assets, they won't have to post a bond at all. So if someone has a trust and there's still a need for a conservatorship, if we were to be really strict about it, we can say, well, the would-be conservatee is receiving a pension and is receiving social security income or a veterans benefits, those aren't exactly trust assets, uh, even though there's this kind of loose understanding that they can be managed through the trust. And uh, those assets are in the form of income, or maybe there's a joint banking account or there's some other personally owned bank account or some IRA that can't really be in the trust during the person's lifetime then we have these outside assets and that may trigger the need for a conservatorship of the estate. I'm assuming that there are other factors already there which would require a conservatorship of the person. So you have a conservatorship of the estate and uh, that conservatorship is going to manage the income from the pension and the social security as well as the IRA because that could be liquidated. And that could all be managed through the conservatorship with the bond. Does that person need to also bond for the trust assets, which are not under court supervision? No. In, in certain situations, it may be beneficial. Let's just say there's a lot of conflict in the family or the would-be successor trustee is not available or unfit to act or you have uh, invited some sort of neutral third party to manage the assets. Well, then that person may have to be appointed by the court order to manage a trust and would be then bonded. But aside from those special circumstances, a conservator is only managing conservatorship of the estate assets and is only required to bond for those assets. So in short, the trust is almost considered a, a outside universe of assets and not under the court supervision. Okay, well, thank you very much. Thank you. And if you guys have any additional questions, feel free to email us at smm at thelegacylawyers.com. Have a great day.